Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from the video, and today I will be showing you how to use proximity props in Roblox. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the part where we want the proximity prompt to be. So right here we have a door. I'm going to click on it. Then it'll be highlighted in Explorer. If you don't have that open, you can go to View, open Explorer, and Properties. Now we're going to add the prompt. So we're going to right click on it in Explorer, Insert Object, and then put in Proximity Prompt. And then it should be here. Now you can click on it. Then now we have the proximity prompt. So now we're gonna want to put in a script. So I'm gonna right click this in Explorer, insert object, then do the same thing again, but with a script instead. You're going to want to do the normal one. Then it should open. We're gonna go back to our place and we can, we can change the stuff it says on the prompt. So instead of saying interact, we can make it, ch we can make it say open and the object can be called door. We can also change some other stuff, like the key that you have to hold down. So you can put it, we can put it on F, and then how long you have to hold it down for. So we can do one second like that, or we can do zero. I'm just gonna do one. Now to go back to the script, you can click it at the top here, or you can double click it here. Now we're going to start scripting. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up some variables. So we're going to delete this, then put local prompt. So the prompt equals script.parent. So it's going to go to the script and then to the prompt. Now we're going to go to the door. So local door equals prompt.parent. So it goes from the prompt to the door. Then now we're going to put a cooldown, so you can't spam the door. The local cooldown equals false, so it's not on cooldown. Now, I'm going to press enter twice. It doesn't really matter if you do it once or twice. Now, we're going to put prompt.triggered connect function, and then this. This is going to detect whenever you use the door. And then we're going to put if not cooldown. Then, and then press enter. Then this is detecting if you're on cooldown. If you're not on the cooldown, then it'll work. If you are, then it'll do nothing. And then we can put the cooldown to true, meaning it, meaning it is now on the cooldown. And then you can make the door invisible, and then allow players to walk through it. So to do that, I'm gonna put door transparency equals one. So if we go back to our place here. It'll make the door invisible, like this. I'm gonna keep it on zero. And then, the next thing, so players can walk through it, door.cancollide equals false, meaning people can walk through it. Now, we're gonna show how long we wait for. So we put wait, and then two, or how long you want it to wait for. I'm just going to put 2, and then cooldown equals false. I'm going to want it to return to its original properties. I'm going to put it to transparency 0, and can collide to true. Then we can go to our place, go to home, and then press play. And if we go to our door, we can activate it and walk through it. And then it closes. As you can see, the prompt stays there even when it's open. So we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna go back to the script, and then I'm gonna put prompt.enabled equals false right here, meaning you will no longer be able to see the prompt after the door is open. And then when it's closed again, we can do the opposite. Prompt.enabled equals true. So now you can see it again and use it. Then if we go back to our place, go to play, 
Now when we open the door, the prompt will not be there and we can walk through it. And that's how you use proximity prompts in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.